Jim Borden from Borden Accuracy. I'm going to do a little demonstration today of how to measure a fire and pin fall on a bolt action receiver. Uh, something that I've taken for granted for a long time. Um, I get customers have trigger frames installed backwards with their old style trigger frames, which robbed them with a lot of fire and pin fall and got failed to fires. And after doing much problem solving, found it's easier to have a customer directly measure if they can't figure out which end of the frame is the rear, is measure their fire and pin fall, tell me that, and then I can tell them whether or not they have their trigger set up improperly. Um, what I've taken for granted is folks knew how to measure fire and pin fall found that that's not so straightforward. Uh, so what we're going to do today is I have a 6547 Lapua VRMXDF open rifle here ready to ship and we're going to do a little demonstration on how to measure fire and pin fall on that action. Okay what we do here is with making sure there's no round in the chamber um, guns pointed in the safe direction, not pointing at anybody, um, where, wherever you are. Take, put the bolt in, carefully close the bolt, and cock the fire control system. Then take a set of calipers that are zeroed, and measure from the back of the cock and piece to the back of the shroud. Go uh, 41 and a half thousandths there. Now we dry fire it. Measure from the back of the shroud to the back of the cocking piece. And we have 218 thousandths there. So we now add the two together. We get fire and pin fall set up properly and timed properly. As you can see, when it goes down, once the locking lugs engage, the only advance that you see is the shroud backing up because of the half-20 thread to change this space. There we go.